G'day everyone, I'm out here in the burning hot Australian sun with some gallium and some magnifying glasses. Now I'm not sure if this has ever been done before, but maybe it'll work. It'll be interesting to see if this even works, and if the magnifying glasses either melts a hole in the gallium or simply heats up the whole block and liquefies it. Here's my solidified the gallium from the last video. Surprisingly it didn't solidify flat at all. It's very crystallized as you can see. Which makes sense in a way because gallium expands as it crystallizes. Therefore the crystals would be less dense than the liquid, causing them to rise up to the surface, creating the lumps. And before we start melting, let's have a comparison to see how fast this leaf will burn up underneath the magnifying glass. Suppose now to begin with, we'll just try a small amount of gallium. So a little bit here that I prepared earlier. One reason why I think it might melt a nice little hole is because of gallium's relatively low thermal conductivity. It has about a conductivity value of around 30. In comparison to other metals such as aluminium which has a value of almost 200 and silver which has a value of about 405 which is one of the highest conductivity values. And as you can see, we've actually got a small little dimple. And it's probably giving off poisonous gases, so I shouldn't be breathing it. It's going quite well so far. And there we have it. You can also hear the metal crying out and making a sound as the crystal structure rapidly changes, similar to a tin cry. There we have it. You can use the power of sun to melt a hole in your gallium. Well, I'm surprised it worked. That's pretty cool though. Nice hole. Almost perfect. Well, we had a success. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you did. If you have any other ideas I could use my gallium for, please comment them below. See you next time.